a wise man once said, Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. I'm not really a genreist so much, you know, like I kind of, I think if it sounds good to you, then listen to it. I had a little bit of trouble with, with being able to assimilate anger into my understanding. I have anger, everybody does, but when I'm, when I'm experiencing music, I don't know, I can't, I can't understand it. I've recorded two rap songs in my life that were mostly a joke. They were completely a joke, but I was really serious at the time about what I was doing. They still exist somewhere, well, I'm sure one of my friends has them or something, but it's one of those things where I would, I would like, have no problem suing one of my friends if they ever like put it on the internet or something. I would ruin their life if they ever did it. I was a McCartney guy. I'm still a little bit ashamed to admit that. It seems like really intelligent people go for go for Lennon or George. I mean, I'm a, I'm a diehard Beatles fan. I, I, as somebody once said, there's there's the Beatles and then there's the rest of music. You know, I, I kind of agree with that statement. So Yoko is a, uh, you know, I don't dislike her anymore. I was like one of those people that was like, she ruined the whole thing. I want you. I want you. So I always thought it was a badass cover photo because it was out of focus. I, I'm, I'm one of those, I'm one of those people that is like, oh, I kind of just like the early stuff. You know, get my go-to record for Dylan is, is actually uh, Free Willy and Bob Dylan. It's, it's the first thing. Um, the only song I don't like on that record is Masters of War because it's a, it's a really terrible song. Yeah, he's kind of the, he's sort of the tree that you start with, and then you go to the branches afterwards. Yeah. Um, but I mean, but still, if I if I if I hear one of the songs off that first record, I still am totally, you know, just totally locked in. I think they're I think they're kind of perfect. They're sort of perfect folk songs, you know. I think, the thing I was loved about their moms was the um, the economy of uh, <laughs> so badass, dude. The the economy of of speech and music. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. One minute, 34 seconds. One minute, 30 seconds. 143, 151. That's, that's fucking awesome. You know? Like, that's really difficult to do. If you can't say it in a couple minutes, you know, what are you doing? My first, uh, my first and second record were like, I think the second one was like 74 minutes or something like that. Just, out, average song life was like six minutes, you know? And, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I learned from these kind of experiences that, you know, you don't have to do that. You shouldn't do that. She says, wake up, it's no use. So, I, I've been a fan of Sam's probably, I mean, since pretty early on. It was, it was pretty much the beginning. I love this record, man. This is a great one. My... One of my favorite things about Iron Wine is that he has no, he doesn't appear to have any fear um, with just constant movement, you know. Um, I did not love the last record and I will still buy every single record he puts out, gladly. Not out of kindness, just because I'm such a fan of, of him as an artist. I believe in what he's doing and I'm just gonna keep following that journey, man, you know? Like Californian hair metal, poodle, whittling guitars, so it's a very important record for that. Oh! 500 years, I think it's probably safe to say um, that 